Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today I'm very excited to show you one true wireless earbuds that meet my expectations that I originally expected the QCYT3 to be. This is the QCYT... wait, this is the TSO IX. First up, can we take a second and just accept that this looks like an AirPods? The glossy white finish, even the LED up top here is the same. Design of the earbuds is also the same. Might as well just get an AirPods replica, you might say. But no, this is more than just an AirPods wannabe. For the first time in forever, I would say that this is the closest any true wireless earbuds can get to the experience of the AirPods. And another good thing, it's just around $20. The budget price which everyone loves, including me. <laughs> so this is for you who don't like in-ear earbuds. Hear me out. Let's start with the unboxing. On the box, we can see it uses Bluetooth 5.0, has a 13 millimeter driver, battery life of four hours, 36 hours in total with a case. It should last you for a week and about one hour charging time of the earbuds and a case and a waterproof rating of IPX5. But as usual, I don't recommend you to use this on a shower or just submerge it into water. Please, please don't do that. Opening the box, we'll see the earbuds itself covered in nice soft plastic. Then inside the small box beside it, there is some micro USB charging cable included. Last but not least, the instruction manual is written in full English. And that's all. It's a really simple packaging, but it doesn't stop there. The pairing is also simple. To pair to your phone, you can just open the lid for the first time and it will be available to pair. You can just tap it on your phone and that's pretty much what you have to do. To pair to another phone, just turn off the Bluetooth of the first device, open the lid, it'll be available to pair for the next device. And the most special thing is the Bluetooth inside. It uses a dual mode chip, which means both of them are ready to connect to your phone once you open the lid. So if you want to use the left side, just take it out, put it into your ear, and that is already connected. If you want to use the right side, you can put the left side back, take the right side out, it's now connected again. If you want to use both, you can just take the other one. Whether you want to use the left side or the right side, you can just take it out and it'll just work. This is just like the Blue Duo High, but the transition is faster, so it's more practical. And basically no other True Wireless earbuds has done this. Usually the right side is the main one. If I'm using both, I want to use only the left one. I will put my right side into the case and both will turn off. And then I have to pair the left side to my phone separately, not with this one. It pairs under the same name and that's it. You can use it whatever you like. So I can't stress this enough, but this is the main reason why you should strongly consider the TSO IX without even talking about other stuff already. So now let's talk about sound quality. The thing is, you have to keep in mind that this is a $20 earbuds. You won't get any of the nice details that you get in Sabbath E12, but for the price, I can tell you this sounds great. And actually for this open AirPod style, I'm more concerned about how the bass will perform, especially outside. That's the most important part so that you can still enjoy your music outside with noisy environments. And the answer is actually yes. It has just enough bass so it doesn't overpower and muddy the music out like the video high. And compared to the QCYT3 which straight up lacks bass, this is a really nice improvement on the bass side that is. And I'm comfortable to say that I can enjoy music while my surrounding is pretty noisy. Although you have to know that the volume is not that loud, it's probably around the same as the Halo GT1 as I try to compare between both of them. But that is in-ear earbud. You will perceive that as having more volume than this. So keep in mind, you will get less bass, of course, compared to the in-ear earbuds like the Halo or even the QCY. It's not that big of a deal. I can still enjoy acoustics, especially rocks, pops, they're fine. But for the songs that relies on thumping bass the most, you know, the electronic dance music, it's not as enjoyable listening to these, but you probably knew that already. <laughs> Every design has its pros and cons, which brings us to the second part, the build quality. So let's talk about the case first. It has a pretty good snap, 
The finish is also fine. The LED lights especially, they don't leak out from the plastics like you can see in some AirPod replicas, so that's also good. Even though it's pretty sad that this is a micro USB port, it has a pretty interesting battery indicator, which I will talk in a second. And also, last but not least, the hinge is plastic, but well, Opening the box, as I've mentioned before, this turns on both of these earbuds and it starts pairing to your phone. This is a feature that you get in the Xiaomi AirDots Pro and it lets you pair a little bit quicker to your phone. But in my opinion, the more important feature is that it turns on this small LED in the center here, which will flash to let you know that the case is below 25% battery. So you will know when to charge this. It's a very neat feature. Taking the earbuds in and out of the case, what I immediately notice is that because this is not a cylindrical shape like the AirPods, if you put it the wrong way just like that, you cannot just simply twist it into place like that. So you'll have to take it out first and then put it back in the right place. But really that's me nitpicking because the earbuds itself is made out of the same quality as the case. It's really nice. And also you did not see this wrong. This is a physical button and with the help of the stem, you can just hold the stem while pressing the button so you're not really pressing that much into your ear. And most importantly, no more false touches. I hate that on the QCYT3. And also there's a small LED below it, which tells you if the earbuds is charging inside the case or not and then when you take it out it'll blink for a couple seconds and then it'll just turn off indicating that it's paired to your phone taking a look a little bit closer there's a couple sound holes at the top here and the microphone is not on the very button that is for the charging pin connector the mic is at the side here close to the bottom actually oh by the way the magnets inside the case are strong enough you can be confident that it'll stay there inside the case and for the durability i haven't used this for a really long time but i can see using this in the future i have dropped this a couple times i dropped it head height the left side already has a dent here but it's not that apparent and the reason behind that is I was taking out a helmet. So now I have my helmet and I've got my earbuds in my ear and putting it inside my ear, it stays pretty well. It doesn't wiggle around or something, it stays there. But the problem is when you're taking the helmet off, it actually didn't drop. <laughs> Whenever I use it outside, this always drops. Kind of like my helmet is trying to take the earbuds off by getting stuck in the stem and it just drops like that. I don't know why it didn't drop this time. So do keep in mind that these style of earbuds will get stuck in helmets. It will stick out and be more noticeable to people. But the pros is the mic is closer to your mouth. So you will hopefully get a better call quality, which I will test later in this video. Now let's talk about the controls. And unfortunately, I'm just gonna say straight up, this cannot change volume, but it's pretty simple. It's just a little bit different than usual. One tap is to play or pause song. Two taps is voice assistant. And to go to the next song, you have to hold this button on the right to go to the previous song. You'll have to hold the button on the left. The good thing is if you're only using one earbuds, let's say I'm putting this right side inside my case, the whole gesture, even if you do it on the left, will still go to the next song, which is super smart and I appreciate it very much. By the way, the Siri here does not take much time. So I'm gonna two tap, one, two, there you go. It starts listening right away, play my favorites mix. There we go. So now let's take a look at how this performs in PUBG and YouTube. these has less isolation the thing depending on where you use it but it's still 
in-ear kind of thing. It's not AirPods like open style. You're talking when you are singing to music like I do most of the time. And now let's talk about the battery. When charging this case, this LED can tell you how much the battery is inside the case, which is pretty interesting as I've said before. It's something like this. Blinks once at a time, below 25%, blinks twice at a time, about 50%, and it goes up from there. You can see the manual book for that. Technically, you can check the battery level of the case by plugging it in, which is weird, I know, but at this price, no other true wireless earbuds give battery indicators at all. So I can kind of give it a pass. As for the battery life, it's not really that strong point of the TSO YX, unlike the QCY T3. It's only about four hours, and I've tested that listening constantly at 50% volume and that is not enough when you're listening outdoors in noisy environments. Most of the time I will crank this up to 80% volume and the battery should be less than that probably 3 hours. But it's still in that 3 to 4 hours range of the Halo GT1 and backed up by this case which provides a 36 hours that's decent enough to last me a full week. That's better than the Halo so I also give this a pass. Connection wise I think this is one of the more solid ones I've never experienced any connection issues, no pairing issues so far, but I think as with all true wireless earbuds, I can accept one to two seconds of connection dropouts and they'll be fine to me. All right, so now the last and the most important test. This is the cold test and I've got a few things that are very interesting to tell you. So you know that the Bluetooth is dual mode, right? Now I just tested outside that it uses this left side of the earbuds, but it doesn't have any main earbuds. So if I take my uh, case out and put the left side into the case, turn it off, you can see I put it aside already, it switches seamlessly into the right side, as you can see right there, just tapping in. And now, if I want to use the left side, I'll just take it out of the case, I'll just put it inside. There is still no interruption in the calls and the mic seamlessly switches to the left side, which is really really amazing okay i'm gonna put both back into my ear and also there is one very interesting feature during a phone call it's to hold this button for two you can switch into the iphone speaker so now you're listening to my iphone speaker and by holding this for another two seconds i switch it back into the earbuds this is a really nice feature and I could see using this if I'm putting my phone somewhere far away and I just want to stop using this and move the speaker phone. It's just as simple as that and moving back into the earbuds, it's also really simple. Anyways, this is the indoor call test. We're going to go outside and do the outdoor call test now. Okay, so this is the outdoor call test. I'm pretty much standing at the same position as I'm testing the Summit E12 and basically my only source of light is this street light which is very strategically placed if not i cannot make this outdoor call test so it's light already but i don't want to delay the video to you i want to put it as soon as possible so this is it there's not much wind unfortunately i cannot test the wind noise or anything like that i don't know probably next time i will go to some much noisier place anyways that is it for the call test we'll go back upstairs and i'll give you the so to sum up this review, the Tizo YX has a good enough sound for everyday use, good build quality, good controls, good battery, and most importantly, that freedom to pick whichever earbuds that you want to use and also with that cool sound when you are taking it out. It's just like the real AirPods and this is hands down the best experience I could get from a $20 earbuds. And I would love to see more of these dual mode Bluetooth chips in other earphones. So if you're looking for a true wireless earbuds that is not in ear style and also doesn't break the bank, this Tiso YX, highly recommended. Check it out, links are down in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. See you there, see you in the comments, see you next video.